blessings family we are back at it again speaking of our herb of the day I got something special I gotta share with you guys but first I have to give thanks to all of you that are giving great responses to the herb of the day I really appreciate you guys I see that some are using the website to order their herbs and using the herbs of the day as a way of information and that really makes me uh, really feel good you know uh, so give thanks to all of you guys but um, today, something really, really special, something that can help you guys really get rid of cellulite. Uh, I got a lot of women out there asking me, how can I get rid of the cellulite? I got children out there that's dealing with cystitis. I got children out here that's dealing with lymphoma. Uh, I'm talking about the lymphatic system today. So today's herb of the day, we are talking about Cleaver's herb. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Cleaver's herb, uh, this can be found basically walking around in the woods. Uh, you can find it on the mountains. If it's somewhere there's a natural reserve, you'll find poison ivy next to it. It's a cleaving herb, so it likes to cleave to other plants. So you may just think it's a weed, but really it's a really magical herb. So this particular herb is in its dry firm, so it will need to be used as a tea. You could drink it three to five times a, a day. And I like to use it in my tinctures. I also like to use it as a powder when it comes to the lymphatic cleanse. Now, I talk a lot about the lymphatic cleanse on my YouTube video. If you really want to know how the lymphatic system works, I got maybe three or four videos on YouTube. So please check it out. But this particular herb will help my ladies out when it comes to polycystic ovarian syndrome. They, the lymphatic system is uh, dealing with the lymph nodes, the cysts that develop around ovaries, any type of gland. This will be the greatest herb to use when it comes to contracting. It's an astringent, so it, that's the reason why it cleaves to things because it can pull and contract things out. So this, this herb, know that if you have fibrocystic breasts, nodules or in your breast or nodules on your chest or wherever it is a cyst that develops this will help remove the uh, the cyst out so I just wanted to let you guys know that this also is a diuretic because it's pulling this pulling action it can draw extra water out of things so people that are dealing with edema um, people that are just dealing with swelling in general uh, this will be a great herb to use. So I just, the cystitis, the, the nodules that develop inside of the, the bladder, this will be also the greatest herb to use.